you ready? The City of Andalia Council meeting for March the 21st, 2016 is now called to order. We will have a moment of reflection followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council, you have the council workshop minutes of March the 7th, 2016. Also, the council meeting minutes of March the 7th, 2016. Are there any corrections or revisions to those? Seeing none, they'll stand approved. We have no communication petitions or awards this evening, nor do we have any public hearings. And that brings us to uh, our agenda item. And if there's anyone in the audience who would like to give a comment to us, would you please come to the podium, state your name and address for our records, and then your statement. Seeing none, we'll go on to the city manager's report. And we have no information items, nor do we have any action items this evening, nor do we have any old business. That brings us to our resolutions, starting with resolution 16-R-21. Would you read it by title only, please? Yes, ma'am. 16-R-21, a resolution waiving the formal bidding process and authorizing the purchase for seven Motorola, Motorola 800 megahertz mobile radios requested by the Division of Fire from Motorola Solutions through PNR Communications Incorporated in the amount of $25,493.44 and declaring the existing equipment being replaced as surplus property. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the Division of Fire has budgeted $40,000 for the final phase of its uh, portable radio replacement program. Uh, the goal is to upgrade the department's 800 megahertz radios uh, to make them compatible and functional with Montgomery County's new Marks radio system. Uh, the department is proposing the purchase of seven portable radios from Motorola Solutions. Uh, Motorola Solutions is offering a 45% discount on radio purchase until uh, April 1st of this year. Again, it's recommended that council declare, or I'm sorry, uh, declare the 800 megahertz radios being replaced as surplus property and approve placing them on gov deals or otherwise disposed of by the city manager. Thank you. Is there a motion? Your Honor, I'll move that we approve Resolution 16R21 as presented. Second. It's been moved by Vice Mayor Lewis, second by Councilwoman Farce, that we do approve Resolution 16-R-21 as presented. Any questions or comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Farst? Councilmember Herbst? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yeah. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7 0. Resolution 16 R 22, by title only. A resolution waiving the formal bidding process and authorizing the purchase of four used Motorola 800 megahertz mobile radios requested by the Division of Fire from Butler Township in the amount of $10,000 and declaring the existing equipment being replaced as surplus property. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, due to Butler Township's recent reorganization of its fire department, um, it has offered the city four used 800 megahertz uh, radios at a cost of $2,500 each. And it's recommended that council authorize the purchase of these portable radios from Butler Township. And these radios are about $1,100 cheaper than the Motorola radios Council just authorized. Uh, the new and used portable radios being purchased will be under the budget amount of $40,000. Thank you. Do I have a motion? I'll move that we approve resolution 16 R 22. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Herbst and second by Councilman Ehlers that we do approve resolution 16 R 22. Once again, any comments or questions? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Councilman Gerhard. 
Yes. Councilman Farst? Yes. Council member, excuse me. Council member Herbst? Yes. Council member Ehlers? Yes. Council member Blakesley? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7 0. Resolution 16 R 23 by title only, please. A resolution awarding the bid for the West Hafer Road water main replacement project requested by the Public Works Department to GM Pipeline Inc. at the lowest and best bid price of $191,885.61. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy? Thank you, Your Honor. And the replacement of the West Hafer water main from Foley to Brown School was budgeted at $185,000. Uh, we received 10 bids on March 1st. Uh, the low bid was submitted by GM Pipeline of Westchester, Ohio. Uh, during the project design and after the budget was approved, it was determined to resurface the street as part of this project rather than patching the street and resurfacing at a later date. Uh, therefore, the cost of the project is about $7,000 over budget. It's recommended that the uh, street resurfacing funds in the street fund be used to cover the additional cost. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve resolution 16-R-23 as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Farr, second by Councilman Blakesley, that we do approve resolution 16-R-23. Any comments? Seeing none, will you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Council Member Herbst? Yes. Council Member Ehlers? Yes. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Council Member Gerhard? Yes. Council Member Farst? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries, carries 7 to 0. Uh, resolution 16 R 24, by title only, please. Oops, excuse me. A resolution awarding the bid for removal and replacement of certain curbs and sidewalks requested by the Div Development and Engineering Services to TC Holzen Inc. at the lowest and best bid price of $138,417.50. Thank you, Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, bids for the removal and replacement of curb and gutter as well as sidewalk and handicap ramps uh, corresponding to the 2016 Street Resurfacing Program were opened on March 1st with five contractors submitting bids. Uh, the 2016 budget for this project is $160,000. Thank you. Is there a motion? Make a motion that we approve resolution 16 R24. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Blakesley, second by Councilman Gerhardt, that we do approve resolution 16 R24. Once again, any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Council Member Farst? Yes. Council Member Herbst? Yes. Council Member Ehlers? Yes. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Council Member Gerhard? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Resolution 16 R 25, by title only, please. A resolution authorizing the city manager to execute an agreement with Montgomery County Board of County Commissioners for community development block grant funds for water main replacement on Greenhurst Drive in Helke Road. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the city has been awarded uh, $90,000 in community development block grant funds through Montgomery County for the replacement of aging water lines, fire hydrants, and curb and sidewalk on Greenhurst Drive and a short section of Helke Road uh, near Buttercup. <clears throat> it's necessary for the city to enter into the CDBG agreement with Montgomery County, uh, setting forth the responsibilities of each party uh, regarding the administration of the project. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve 16-R-25 uh, as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Ehlers, second by Councilman <coughs> Herbst, that we do approve resolution 16-R-25 as read. Comments? I would like to make one and, sure. and thank staff for going after grants. I think it really helps. So. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing none, will you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Council Member Ehlers? Yes. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Council Member Gerhard? Yes. Co Council Member Farst? Yes. Council Member Herbst? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Resolution 16 R 26, by title only, please. 16 R 26. A resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement 
with Montgomery County Board of Commissioners for a 24-hour stray cat program during the 2016-17 calendar years. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the city has contracted with the Animal Resource Center since 1999 for the boarding and disposal of stray cats that are delivered to the center by city residents. Uh, the cost per cat will remain at $60. Uh, however, the $15 adoption credit has been eliminated in order to achieve a greater live release rate through the reduced uh, adoption fees. Finally, the term of the agreement has been reduced from two years to one year, so therefore this is something we'll have to approve annually. Uh, the cost of the city for this service has ranged from $3,500 to over $14,000 over the past three years. Thank you. Is there a motion? I will move that we approve resolution 16R26 as presented. Second. It's been moved by uh, Vice Mayor Lewis, second by Councilman Ehlers, that we do approve Resolution 16-R-26 as presented. Any questions or comments? In other words, we just get the bill. Is that it? Correct. Yes. <laughs> that sums it up, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's hands off. $60 a cat. Yep. Does this, does this include coyotes, raccoon, grandma, or just cats? <laughs> just cats. Okay. And it does not mean that they come out and pick them up. I think, I think they, they will. Do. They'll they, come out. Yeah. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, they there's a higher cost if they come out and help trap. I think they will, or either, either that or they just drop traps off. But I know I do know they assist some in okay. in areas. Okay. Right. Well, Anybody else? Sound like a deal. Mm -hmm. Would you please call a roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Farst? Yes. Councilmember Herbst? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the mo motion carries 7-0. Resolution 16-R-27 by title only, please. 16-R-27, a resolution awarding the bid and authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with Grismer Tire and Auto for vehicle maintenance and mechanical service for police vehicles. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, bids for police vehicle maintenance and mechanical services were opened on February 1st. Uh, five bids were received with Grismer Tire and Auto submitting the lowest overall bid. Uh, this contract is for a two-year period with the option for an additional two-year extension upon written agreement between the parties. Uh, the annual contract amount will not exceed the department's annual appropriation amount, which is 23,500 for 2016. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve resolution 16-R-27. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Herbst, second by Councilman Ehlers that we do approve resolution 16-R-27. Are there any questions or comments? Seeing none, would you call the roll, please? Yes, ma'am. Council Member Gerhard. Yes. Council Member Farst. Yes. Council Member Herbst. Yes. Council Member Ehlers. Yes. Council Member Blakesley. Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis. Yes. Mayor Setzer. Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Resolution 16 R 28 by title only. 16 R 28. A resolution awarding the bid for the purchase of police uniforms, footwear, work gear, and duty equipment requested by the Division of Police from A.E. David Company in an amount not to exceed $23,100 and declaring the existing items as surplus. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, four bids were received on February 10th for police uniforms, footwear, work gear, and duty equipment. Uh, while four companies did submit bids, only A.E. David Company is able to provide all of the department's designated uniform and equipment supplies. A.E. David was also the lowest bidder on a majority of the items being bid. Uh, the contract would be for a two-year period with the option for a two-year extension upon written agreement between the parties. And again, the annual contract amount would not exceed the department's annual appropriation amount. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve Resolution 16-R-28 as read. Second. It's been moved by Councilwoman Farr, second by Councilman Blakesley, that we do approve Resolution 16-R-28 as presented. Any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Yes. Council Member Herbst. Yes. Council Member Ehlers. Yes. Council Member Blakesley. Yes. Council Member Gerhard. Yes. Council Member Farst. Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis. Yes. Mayor Setzer. Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. Resolution 16 R 29 by title. 
16-R-29, a resolution waiving the formal bidding process and authorizing the purchase and installation of a new condenser coil requested by the Parks and Recreation Department from Mechanical Services of Dayton, Inc. in the amount of $17,275. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. The condenser coil of rooftop unit number one at the rec center is failing and in need of repair. Uh, the condenser coil is part of the cooling system at the rec center. Uh, again, with springtime approaching, or actually here now, and springtime weather rapidly approaching, and it's necessary to replace this unit as quickly as possible uh, due to uh, cooling and humidity issues that are currently being experienced at the rec center. Uh, the Parks and Rec Department did receive two quotes for the needed repairs. Mechanical Systems of Dayton submitted the lowest quote at $17,275. Uh, due to the urgent nature of the repairs, it's recommended that Council waive competitive bidding and authorizing a contract with the MSD for the replacement of this condenser coil. Thank you. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. We approve Resolution 16-R-29. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Gerhard, second by Vice Mayor Lewis, that we do approve uh, Resolution 16-R-29. Are there any comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Council Member Farst? Yes. Council Member Herps? Yes. Council Member Ehlers? Yes. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Council Member Gerhard? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. We have no ordinances in their first reading this evening. We do have Ordinance 16 02 for a second reading by title only, please. 16 02. <clears throat> An ordinance rezoning the property at 131, 139, and 209 South Dixie Drive from residential multifamily to office residential with a planned unit development overlay and replatting 1.164 acres of said land, which includes 0 .140 acres of dedicated right of way. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy? Uh, is, it, is there a public hearing on this? All right, so you do that after. I, I do that uh, after the I explanation. Apologize. I apologize. <laughs> That's okay. I see. Yeah. So Mr. Whetstone has submitted a request to rezone property at 131, 139, and 209 South Dixie from residential multifamily to office residential with the planned unit development overlay. Uh, Mr. Whetstone is, has also requested to replat the property to create one 1.024 acre parcel. Uh, the property in question is currently legal non-conforming as it is occupied by a funeral home and two single-family residences, none of which are permitted in the residential multifamily district. Uh, rezoning the site to office residential would bring it into conformance with the zoning code and would also allow for the expansion of the existing on-site parking area by an additional 20 to 30 spaces. Uh, the proposed rezoning is generally consistent with the surrounding area, uh, the 1985 comprehensive plan and the 1984 downtown development plan. Uh, the Planning Commission reviewed this request at its January 12th meeting and unanimously recommended uh, the rezoning and, and the plat, uh, provided that a separate zoning permit is required for the parking lot expansion. Thank you. And since this is an ordinance in its second reading, uh, I will open up a public hearing. And if there's anyone in the audience who would like to make comment about this ordinance, would you please come to the podium, state your name and address for our records, and provide your statement? Did you want to say anything? Seeing none, I'll close the public hearing and ask for a motion. Make a motion that we approve Ordinance 16-02 in the second reading. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Blakesley, second by Councilman Herps, that we do approve uh, Ordinance 16-02 in its second reading. Any comments? Please call the roll. Yes, ma'am. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Councilmember Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Fars? Yes. Councilmember Herbst? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. We have no emergency ordinances, and we have a number of reports from boards and commissions, and that would be your Cultural Arts Committee minutes of January the 19th, 2016, Public Art and Vandalia minutes of January the 19th, 2016. Cultural Arts Committee minutes of February the 16th, 2016. Public Art in Vandalia minutes, February the 16th, 2016. And the Civil Service Commission minutes of September the 3rd, 2015. Yeah, no, it is 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the Planning Commission minutes of uh, February the 23rd, 2016. Is there 
Any comment about any of those? Seeing none, we do have a variance at 2231 Settlers Trail. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, based upon the BZA's recommendation at their January 27th meeting, uh, the applicant uh, did submit a letter withdrawing the request for a height variance and will be reducing the height of the screens to six feet. And however, if you remember from our study session, again, the front two foot section of the front screen will be at six feet where three and a half feet is required. So there is a minor variance required for two feet of that front screen. Um, uh, again, the applicants are also maintaining their variance request to allow the screen to not extend to the ground to allow for drainage. I think they're looking for it to be about eight inches off the ground to allow drainage underneath the screens. Thank you. Is there a motion? I make a motion that we approve the variance at 2231 Settlers Trail according to the memorandum and relieving the applicant from the section of 1276.02 for fences and walls. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Blakesley, second by Councilman Gerhardt that we do approve the variance at 22031 Settlers Trail. Are there any comments or questions? Seeing none, would you call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Council Member Gerhard? Yes. Council Member Farst? Yes. Council Member Herbst? Yes. Council Member Ehlers? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion carries 7 0. We also have a variance request for 564 and 584 West National Road. Mr. Um, Cruzy? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, True North Energy has requested a variance to allow a gasoline filling station at 564 and 584 West National Road on property within 200 feet of a residential zoning district. A second variance is requested to allow a third curb opening where only two are permitted. Uh, True North Energy proposes to purchase the vacant Friendly's property and combine it with their adjoining Shell gasoline station lot to the west. Uh, the site would be redeveloped uh, with a convenient store and gasoline pumps. Uh, the lot on which the current Shell Station uh, is located is approximately 144 feet from the residential zoning, residential zone property to the south. However, the Friendly's lot does directly abut the residential zone property to the south. Also, the zoning co code permits one curb cut along each street upon which the lot has frontage. In this case, the corner lot would be permitted two curb cuts. Uh, however, the, lots, uh, the two lots as they currently exist have four curb cuts. Uh, the Shell Station currently has three and the Friendly's lot has one. Uh, True North's proposal was to have one curb cut on Halkey Road and two curb cuts along National Road. Uh, the BZA did review this request at its February 24th meeting. Uh, they recommended that Council deny the request to allow the gasoline filling station within 200 feet of a residential zoning district. However, they did vote to approve the request for a third curb cut, but only if Council would happen to grant the variance uh, to allow the gasoline filling station. Okay, may I just ask a question before? Is this two votes or one vote? I believe it would be two votes. If we, no, if we just one vote. One variant. It's, it's just one variant. Okay. I think it's an either or. Okay, because if we, if we go ahead and permit the filling station, then that would automatically, because of um, the uh, BZA. Okay. But theoretically, you could approve the gas station, but only give them two curb cuts. That's. I guess that was my question. Is this a two-parter? Would council like this to be a two-parter? I think we can address it in one motion and say the two different things. Either way. You can okay. probably do it either way. I mean, I don't know that it makes that much okay. difference. If you want I'll complete do clarity, do two different ones. Didn't mean for it to be a question here. Okay. All right, then do I have a motion? Your Honor, I'll move that we approve the variance at 564 and 584 West National Road to include... Um, a variant from City Code Section 1276.15 D2, and, and additionally from 1276.15 A to allow for a third cup, curb cup, curb cut cup. opening on a corner lot in a commercial district. Second. It's been moved by uh, Vice Mayor Lewis and second by Councilman Gerhardt that we approve the variance request at. 564 and 584 West National Road. Comments from council members? I'd like to start off and say appreciate the BZA doing the research and making the presentation to us and, and um, for everything that they did on this. Also thank True North 
for wanting to better the property. I, I think it's going to be a good mix or a good um, design for that area. Uh, as we were told that the building, the former Friendlies, was, is, has a lease for 12 years. And I'm not sure sitting there 12 years uh, that the city and citizenry wants to see that building sit there. I think this is uh, a good use for that property, expanding that. I know that that corner is quite congested, so I think it would be a much needed improvement on that property. Anyone else? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Councilman Gerhard? Yes. Councilmember Farst? No. Councilmember Herbst? Yes. Councilmember Ehlers? Yes. Councilmember Blakesley? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes six to one. Uh, we have a variance request at 801 Shoals Johnson Electric. Mr. Cruzy. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, following the Board of Zoning Appeals November 11th meeting uh, and City Council December 7th workshop, uh, again, staff work with the applicant in the development of a landscape plan which, as it's proposed, uh, the applicant will landscape the lot fronting Shoals Drive as well as install parking lot screening from the southernmost entrance off of Shoals Drive as part of the final certificate of occupancy for the current building expansion. Uh, furthermore, the applicant has agreed to effectively landscape the perimeter of the parking area that faces I-75 uh, no later than September 1st of 2017, again, or as part of any future building or parking lot expansion, whichever comes first. Uh, the applicant has submitted a letter of credit as surety that the work will be performed in the amount of $50,000. Thank you. Is there a motion? I move that we approve, <coughs> excuse me, variance uh, for 801 Schultz Johnson Electric from the city code section 1278-02A. Second. It's been moved by Councilman Ayler, second by Councilman uh, Blakesley that we do approve for the variance at 801 Schultz Johnson Electric. Any other comments? Seeing none, would you please call the roll? Council Member Farst? Yes. Council Member Herbst? Yes. Council Member Ehlers? Yes. Council Member Blakesley? Yes. Council Member Gerhard? Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis? Yes. Mayor Setzer? Yes, and the motion passes 7-0. Uh, for the month of February, we had a bill <laughs> listing of $2,594,219.74. And that brings us to our council comments, starting with Mr. Schaefer. Do you have anything? I have no comments. Thank you. Mr. Cruzy? Uh, nothing additional this evening, Your Honor. Okay. Councilman Gerhardt? No comments. Councilman Blakesley? Nothing tonight. Thank you. Councilman Farce? Nothing tonight. Thank you. Councilman Herbs? Uh, yes. Uh, Greg and I <clears throat> attended last week's ribbon cutting for transition to wellness massage. I'd like to uh, wish them continued success here in the city. Good. Is that it? Yeah. Councilman Ehlers? Nothing to like. Thank you. Vice Mayor Lewis? No, Your Honor. And I have nothing. However, we're not finished uh, because it is recommended that Council adjourn to the executive session to consider the employment, discipline, promotion, or compensation of a public employee, more specifically matters relating to the performance evaluation of the city manager. Do I have a motion to do so? So moved. Second. Okay. Uh, okay. Would you please call the um, Would you please call the roll? Yes, ma'am. Council Member Herbst. Yes. Council Member Ehlers. Yes. Council Member Blakesley. Yes. Council Member Gerhard. Yes. Council Member Farst. Yes. Vice Mayor Lewis. Yes. Mayor Setzer. Yes, and uh, we will adjourn Brief? to the other room. Brief. Brief.